Hey pimps, it's Madame Wario. Welcome back to the third day in spring week of Let's Play Animal Crossing New Leaf Welcome Amiibo where we're gonna talk to Vic because he's standing right in front of us looking like a Viking and it's been so long since he's seen us. He moved in like right before we ended off um, that winter week last year which oh my god how's it been like four months like seriously that's kind of insane to me i remember thinking this was so far away like that spring week was gonna be forever and a day away and now it's like what it's how is it how's it april right now like i don't understand um which i mean in all honesty, it's not at the time I'm re recording this, because I'm recording this at the end of March. But at the same time, seriously, how's it the end of March? Like, it's kind of the same difference. So, um, we're going to dig up some things around town. We're going to kind of casually talk to people. I want to spend some time on Main Street today. Um, just kind of getting reacquainted with all there is on Main Street. I don't think there are any big updates. I don't think anything has changed, because the main, uh, the main piece that we're waiting on in that puzzle is Katrina and we need to have her come to town what is it four times or four yeah four times guys no um 20 times I think we have to visit her shop while she's in town and while we're probably getting up there it's just not um it's not there yet and the same goes for the nooklings like I haven't seen Gracie Grace at all I haven't done her fashion check which is something that starts happening once you get uh, far enough with their store. And I think part of it might be that I haven't bought enough from them. Because my house is kind of, like, done when it comes to the theming and stuff. And, I mean, I could still... I could still buy things just for the sake of buying them to solve that issue. But I just haven't done that. So we still have TIY for tanuki it yourself and then all of this is the same still obviously this doesn't really change though only the nooklings needs to change still and then this back here which i'm pretty sure most of the time katrina is the final piece that comes into main street anyway just because of the nature of her visits and how long that whole process takes regardless so let's go ahead and talk to blathers put my shovel away move some things around so I could more easily um, get these fossils identified um, and we'll get that going. You know, something I could do to help with um, the whole purpose of buying from the Nookling shop is I could um, make some more museum, uh, museum exhibits, but okay. I need you to assess fossils. I really hope that when we eventually get an Animal Crossing Switch games that this whole fossil evaluation thing is nixed, that once you dig it up and it's identified, like, it's always going to be identified every time. Like, that's how it should be in this game. It's like, you get it identified once, once you know what it is, like, every time you dig it up, you should dig up, like, the skull and crossbones it shows for the fossil that's like, oh, it's one you already have. And then if you got the blue, like, weird-looking fossil that we all know, that would be the indication that, oh, it's one you have not gotten before. So at a point, you would never have to see Blathers for that reason again. So I have the one exhibit up here. I don't even remember what it is or if it even has anything in it. What is this? Oh, right. It's my, like, in-game rewards exhibit. So, like, I mean, obviously, these are from, like, the bug off, but I guess that's kind of an in-game reward system. The table isn't a reward of any kind, it's just the green table, but everything else is kind of generalized, and this wallpaper is just a, my, <laughs> it's not really a good wallpaper because it's just the pattern I use for my sidewalk, so that exhibit kind of blows. Um, we could probably do something more creative, but yeah, that would be a good reason to buy things would be for the sake of an exhibit so we could be creative so maybe we could start that this week um, just to see if we get any pro progress in that realm and I don't I don't know if that's the only thing um, contributing to Gracie not appearing and us not getting that upgrade quite yet I haven't played this regularly and it's been so long since I played it on my old town to know for sure what without looking it up just just thinking like I am right now I'm obviously not looking up anything um, it's very difficult to to know 
why that would be. So, you know, just take that for, for what it is, I guess. And there's that freaking weirdo bunny that we got. I'm going to sell this stuff and then we'll check out the shops. We'll check them out and see what what they've got. Um, again, I'm not going to show any of this off because it's pointless. It's just me highlighting things that aren't interesting that I do not want to sell for bells. Or so I can sell them for bells. And that's kind of what started happening. Like, a lot of the stuff that the neighbors give me, I end up selling because it's just rando, weird, you know, weird items that I've even gotten too many times before. Um, like, they tend to give me the same items over and over, which is kind of strange, but... Rodeo's up here. We're gonna ignore him, though. And I think we should plant, um, some of those regular trees, if there are any available. Um, just so we can... We can have that as an option. What is it? The little tricycle? That's so cute! Oh, I want the tricycle! Yes! Yeah, I'm taking this tricycle. Um, there's like a school speaker, washing machine. We can make like a toy shop, because I love that kind of idea. Let's do that. Let's make like a toy shop style exhibit for all of our nonsense. Alpine rug. It's just that rug that's like wood with a, a big rug on top that has like blue, white, and green dots. Oh shoot, I didn't pay any attention. Oh, there's the Slytherin floor, or the Slytherin looking floor that um, I used in my original project. So, which we already ha pay tribute to as is. Rococo, no, that's not gonna work. We need like Kitty or something. Oh my gosh, speak of the devil, okay. Kitty wall, I'll take it. Okay, so we have some pieces for our exhibit. And again, this is my capture card, so I never take it on walks or anything or when I go anywhere, so I never have any play coins to buy, um, to buy those fortune cookies, which is kind of silly, but oh well. Alright, we'll go ahead and get the sapling, yo! Yes, girl! I will do it! And we can kind of start, like, a little toy shop in our exhibit. We can even get, like, a cash register and stuff if that becomes available. That's a pretty high-ticket item. I don't know how likely that is, but... It's not impossible, so we'll, we'll go with that. I also love being able to wear any, like, outfit with short sleeves or anything now and not have my character complain, like, Oh my god, I'm freezing. Wow, this dress, though, so hot. So sensual. It's usually the word I use with things like that for some reason. Hey, there's a gray hat. I'm supposed to get that strawberry hat, according to, um, to Katrina. And, I mean, when you go grape, you, you, you turn into an ape. I don't know. I didn't have anything clever to say with that. So, poop on a scoop. I don't have any tights on either, so we'll check in here. Rodeo just chilling over there. So, I would like to know, um... Hello, chum. Sup. Uh, let's go ahead... Oh... Mm, yeah, let's get some ballet shoes to put in there. Into our little toy store, just like as a dress-up sort of item. Um... I would like to know today, for the question of the day, um, since we're making an exhibit, what is, what's, I'm, I'm gonna open it up wider than just exhibits, though, like, tell me about a room that you have designed in your game, um, whether it's an exhibit or a room in your house that you are particularly proud of, and I'm always curious to hear people's ideas, because it's one thing to go by the game and be like, I have all the kitty furniture, I have all the sleek furniture, whatever, but it's really interesting when you kind of piece together a room on your own that's of a very independent idea. Um, I think my favorite room that I've designed, and it actually is an exhibit in my other game that I have shown off um, during the summer, um, and this is in Wee Pimp, not Big Pimp, but my personal town, Wee Pimp. Um, I have a wedding venue, which is just a chapel, and it has, like, a bride and groom in there. 
super duper cute. I love how it turned out. I love all of the, the aspects of it, the pews, the like stained glass. It, it just turned out so perfect for what I wanted it. Um, and that was so much fun to put together. I have like obsessed over that. So my, my Sims started showing my, my love of Sims and designing houses and rooms. So I'm curious to, to know how you guys feel about that kind of thing. Okay. And I'm going to hang this on the wall. I'm going to display these items. Just no, I don't want to wear them. I want to display them. Thank you. And we'll just leave it like this because there's really no reason to move it around and we don't have anything else yet. But that's going to do it for today's episode. So comment and let me know about your favorite room that you've designed in Animal Crossing. And I will see you tomorrow. This has been Madame Wario. Peace out, pimps. Mm -hmm.